Hello everyone and welcome to our lesson number eight for starters and complete beginners. In this lesson, we're going to move forward from what we were doing in the past three lessons. Uh, and now we're gonna practice some drum fills. And I'm gonna show you some of the most basic drum fills to use. And uh, I will love you if you could practice them individually first. Just loop them over and over again. Uh, but once you get down to, to it and uh, you start feeling okay with the drum fills, we need to try to practice switching between the drum groove and the drum fill, drum groove, drum fill, and try to maintain the tempo consistently throughout uh, the, the switch and both of the exercises. So uh, we're gonna start um, just talking a little bit about the time signature, which we're gonna keep on playing what's called 4-4. Four, four. Now, uh, the first number refers to the number of notes per bar. And uh, the second number refers to which note. So if we have a bar of four, four, what it refers to is we have four quarter notes in each bar. So the counting is always gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now how we count the subdivisions in between those bits, uh, it's what creates our grid. So, uh, in other words, we are putting down the possibilities that we can play in between those bits. And to do that, we divide by two, by three, by four, or even by five, six, seven, or eight. Uh, and we do that with each bit. So we, we basically, we go from the quarter note into the eighth note, to the eighth note triplet into the sixteenth, uh, and then we go into quintuplets, which is five notes per beat. Then we're gonna go into sextuplets, which is six notes in each beat. And then we have septuplets, uh, which we got seven notes in each beat. And finally, we got 30 second notes, and we got eight of those in each bit if we are talking about a 4-4 four, four bar. So in each bar we can fit four quarter notes or we can fit eight eighth notes or we can fit 16 sixteenth notes etc etc etc. So for now as our drum feels we're just gonna stick to sixteenth note combinations. So it's always gonna be all around the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. But be in mind that when we are playing groove, our counting is gonna go one and two and three and four and one. Now what I would like you to practice before you even start is to switch in between eighth notes and sixteenth notes, or to switch in between quavers and semi-quavers. Uh, in other words, it's counting one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. So it's just about keeping the time consistently throughout the counting. Two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. You can play along a metronome, it will be so much better. It's very hard to follow it at the beginning, but it's the only way to get your tempo consistent and accurate. So after we do that count, we can relate what we were doing with the grooves, one and two and three, and now we were doing with the drum fills, one E and that, two E and that, three E and that. So let's start with the drum fills now. I'm just gonna explain how can you play the 16th notes around the drum set and how you can start messing a little bit with those 16th notes. 
So uh, the first most obvious fill, drum fill, will be to play from the beginning of the bar, starting on beat one. We're gonna play a whole bar of drum fill. And uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna stick to this rule, which is each time we change beat, we go from beat one into number two or from beat two into number three, at the beginning on each beat, of each beat, it, that is when we change and we go into a new voice of the drum set, the snare or the toms. We're just gonna keep this to the snare drum and the toms for now. The point is to assign uh, one beat to each voice of the drum, and we're gonna be playing 16th notes. So the count is gonna be one E and that, two E and that, three E and that, four E and that, one and two and three and four. So let's just try that for a second. So we just have to focus on getting our hands to bounce nicely, to try to hit always the center of each drum and to not accent harder on your stronger hand if you are right-handed uh, so or your left-handed is the same the point is to try to play that with no accents every note the same every note is a stroke no ghost notes just full full strokes one e and that two e and that three e and that four e and that one so just try to keep it very steady and uh, the important thing is to count with the hi-hat as we go along with our drum fill. So that's very, very important. Uh, so just keep that hi-hat along while we play in those 16th notes. I will show you. It's a very simple exercise, but the point is to try to do it really steadily. Now, that was the first drum fill we already reviewed on one of our first lessons. But the point now is to develop this into um, other phrasing. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to pick one note of each four at a time and we're gonna take it out and don't play it and we're just gonna leave the gap so in other words if before we were doing four notes I'll do it with the hands because of this mic now what we're gonna have is one and 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 one so the sticking is going to be right left right right left right right left right right left right right and what we're gonna do is move to each head at the beginning of the beat, so in each voice of the drums. And uh, we're gonna keep that count and make sure we keep on mentally counting, at least, so that we can fill the gap without rushing it. Because we got that 16th note, the last one, the last 16th note of every four 16th is gonna be taken off and not played. So that is basically it. We've just taken the first three notes of each four and the fourth note we're just not playing it. Now what we're gonna do that is following this principle is we're gonna take now the third note of this group of four away. So we're gonna have the first two and the fourth. It's gonna be and the two e and the three e and the four e and the one. And the sticking it's quite different, it's a bit weird at the beginning because what we have is right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. So I repeat that. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. One and two and three and four and five. 
two, three, and again, and So that it's the second option. You take away the third note of each fourth. And now if we take away the second note of each group of four, which is uh, one of the phrases that I prefer, ta 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 uh, It's a very nice phrase and it's very much used all the time as a hi-hat pattern or right pattern even as a bell pattern for Latin. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna play this exercise uh, just as a drum fill, and the sticking is going to be right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. So I repeat that, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. And the counting is gonna be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. I will do it now around the drum set. One and two and three and four and So that's a nice way to voice it, but uh, you can choose whatever the way you prefer. And now the last option will be to take away the first 16th notes of each group of four. So that will leave us with the beat empty and the other three 16th notes filling up the gap. So it's going to be one E and a, two E and a, three E and a. And the sticking is going to be left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. So one and two and three and four and one. Left, right, left, two, left, right, left, three, left, right, left, four, left, right, left, one. One E and that, two E and that, three E and that, four E and that, one. I will play it for you. We play the same thing around the drums. So there you go, you got four options. Take away the fourth, the third, the second, of the first note of each group of four and uh, by leaving that gap you create a different rhythmical phrase and it relates differently to the beat so uh, it's important that you start doing it very slowly very aware of the sticking the sticking is there for a reason and is to keep the continuity because when we are doing singles we are always going right, left, 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 right, left. So, so therefore, it makes sense to keep that same sticking, regardless of which notes we're gonna not play on each group of four. And in this way, we keep our body always with the same flow. It's the same flow for the sticking, and then we just take the note that we don't play. We just take it off, but we don't make that change our sticking. We don't allow it to change our sticking. If you got any questions, you can ask me via email or via messaging on my Patreon website and also on my Facebook, etc. Um, this lesson, it's pretty much about getting the flow first with the exercise, with the drum feel alone. Once you get 
to move around comfortably and you can do a strong count with your left foot on the hi-hat and you feel that you can keep it on time and consistently, we need to try to switch between a simple eighth note groove and those sixteenth notes. So just remember your hi-hat is going to count like one and two and three and four and during the groove but your drum field is going to be counting as 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 1. So just bear in mind, try not to change the speed when you switch in between the groove and the drum field. And to finish your drum field, you can always finish on the 1 with a crash and a kick drum together. And then your next count on the hi-hat is going to be AND. So it's going to be one and two and three and four. Crash, hi-hat and snare together with the hi-hat. That is one and two. So when you finish your drum fill and you hit the crash with your kick together, make sure that you go back into your hat and you don't go back counting one, one again, but one and two. So let's try for that change not to throw you out. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you have a good time practicing. Uh, you can feel free to combine all of the drum groups that we've been playing on lesson 5, 6 and 7. You can combine all of those with any of these four ways to play those 16th notes, leaving the gaps. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. I see you on our next lesson. Bye.